whatever you do will be a waste of effort. That is why it says. Take a good hold on the true lead and seek attentively. Lu Yi Ming, Commentary on Understanding Reality True lead or true ying refers to the firmness of the mind of Tao. When one turns around the light and is aware of oneself, one does not let any upcoming thoughts interrupt this self-awareness. The two temple guardians embody the firmness of true lead. The trigrams water and fire have multiple meanings. Above it was said that fire represents the energy of the vital spirit, leaking out, this is false yin. Water represents gathering the spirit back to the center, this is true yang. Water and fire also represent the medicine of true yin and true yang acting in balance to create the golden elixir. Among the trigrams, the sun is fire, yang outside and yin inside, symbolizing the presence of flexibility within strength. Among the trigrams, the moon is water, yin outside and yang inside, symbolizing the presence of strength within flexibility. The science of spiritual alchemy is simply a matter of taking flexibility within strength and strength within flexibility, which are the two great medicines of true yin and true yang, and fusing them into one energy, thus forming the elixir. The so-called intertwining of tortoise and snake, and the mutual settling of water and fire, both represent this principle. Lu Yi Ming, The Inner Teachings of Taoism At the start of human life, the original essence of real consciousness is round and bright and lucid, firm strength is balanced, and it is unadulterated, pure, without a trace of pollution, this is like the three whole lines of the trigram heaven, the image of pure yang without yin. Subsequently, upon mixture with acquired conditioning, natural goodness is obscured, and there is artificiality in conscious energy. This is like the center of the heaven trigram becoming hollowed, forming fire, the center of the earth becoming solid, forming water. The hollow in the center means the real has left fire, the solid in the center means the real has fallen into water, taking from water to fill in fire means restoring natural reality, recovering the original nature of real consciousness. This is likened to the fire trigram again changing into the heaven trigram. Lu Yi Ming, Understanding Realty, one of the founding teachers said, Spirit is essence, energy is life. Refining energy is a matter of preserving the body, refining spirit is a matter of preserving the mind. Li Dao Chun, The Book of Balance and Harmony Opening and closing, breathing out and breathing in, are the door of the mysterious female, the root of heaven and earth. Here breathing out and breathing in do not refer to exhalation and inhalation through the nose, but rather to the opening and closing of the true breath, the inner pulse of life the movement of energy and stillness of spirit. Li Dao Chun, The Book of Balance and Harmony The ignorant take the path of doing to be the manipulation of circulation in the temporal unreal physical body. This is wrong. The science of the gold elixir is the study of the primordial, whereby it is possible to spin yin and yang, take over evolution, reverse the mechanism of energy, invert heaven and earth, and be in primordial accord with nature. It cannot be accomplished by the manipulation of the physical body. Ching Ying said, tears, saliva, gastric fluids, semen, air, blood and lymph, the seven marvelous substances, are all mundane, yin, if you take these things as the basis of the elixir, how can you fly aloft to the celestial realms? Lu Yi Ming, The Inner Teachings of Taoism Now, if the main purpose of a religious teaching is drawing people to faith, why are the alchemical texts so obscure? Essentially, the Taoist alchemical methods are kept secret within closed groups, the selection of disciples is severe, and the methods are transmitted under oath. The most important points are not committed to writing, they are handed down in person from master to disciple, and are transmitted by word of mouth. Therefore when the alchemical masters write their books, they are extremely cautious. As the saying goes, they hide the mother and talk of the son, and leave the root to pursue the branches. Their writings are more complex than riddles. Wang Yu, 20th C. Taoist Master The Book of the Yellow Court says, In the inch two field of the square foot house, life can be regulated. The square foot house is the face. As for the field of an inch two on the face, what can it be other than the heavenly heart? In the middle of the inch two dwells the splendor. In the purple hall of the city of jade dwells the god of utmost emptiness and life. 
the secret of the golden flower, ch1, and the city, the heavenly Jerusalem, lieth four square, the length and the breadth and the height of it are equal. The Bible, Revelations 21 16. Attaining the Tao means entering the true way and obtaining instructions from an enlightened teacher. Learn the meaning of the singular cavity of the mysterious gate, the gathering of the six spirits, building the foundations, gathering the ingredients to cultivate the pill. Shui Ching Zhu, Commentary on Cultivating Stillness The mysterious gate has the same meaning as the yellow middle. The holy man who understands the mysteries of creation inherent in end and beginning, becomes superior to the limitations of the transitory. For him, the meaning of time is that in it, the stages of growth can unfold in a clear sequence. He is mindful at every moment and uses the six stages of growth as if they were six dragons, the image attributed to the individual lines, on which he mounts to heaven. Commentary on Hexagram Number 1, The Creative, The I Ching P 371, Wilhelm Slash Bain's Edition The nine openings of the human body are all receptors for aberrating influences, but among them it is only the ears, eyes, and mouth that are the main inlets which summon aberrating influences. When the ears listen to sounds, the vitality is shaken, when the eyes look at forms, the spirit runs, when the mouth talks a lot, the energy disperses. Once vitality, energy, and spirit are damaged, then the whole body deteriorates, and life is lost. If you can curb looking and listening, and speak little, you close those main inlets, and let your mind be open and empty. With inward thoughts not coming out and outward thoughts not entering in, the three great medicines of vitality, energy, and spirit will congeal and no longer disperse. Then the nine openings can be active or still, and their activity or stillness is the working of heaven, without human artifice. Lu Yi Ming, Commentary on Yin Convergence Being immortal refers to pure yang energy, which is the presence of the original spirit or original self. This state, which can last longer or shorter, is out of time. The original self becomes completely manifest, wholly integrated with the celestial design, round and bright, pure yin with no yin. Lu Yi Ming, Commentary on Understanding Reality Alice, how long is forever? White Rabbit, sometimes, just one second, Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, the firing process, which burns away false yin and reaches a state of pure yang, requires a balance of yin and yang. Here, balanced yin and yang refers to firmness and flexibility being balanced, while pure yang refers to conscious awareness of the original spirit and false yin, to the mechanical awareness of the human mind. Stabilize the will with firmness, do the work with flexibility. Making the will firm and strong is setting up the crucible. Gradually progressing in the work is setting up the furnace. Firmness and flexibility are both used, without imbalance. Having prepared, work the fire and the convergence according to the time. Lu Yi Ming, The Inner Teachings of Taoism Ordinary breathing keeps the body alive, the immortal breath or breath of life makes the original spirit alive. During six ordinary breaths one keeps one's conscious awareness on one's breathing without allowing any interruption. This means one has to let all thoughts pass by without paying attention to them. This is called bathing. Bath and incubate. Do not let thoughts arise, do not let attention scatter. Lu Yi Ming, The Inner Teachings of Taoism I relied entirely on the dipper for success in my movements. Journey to the West CH70. The head and the handle, of the dipper, are the necessities of the way, they are the rope to manage all transformations. Wei Boyong, 2nd C. Taoist Master, Cantong Chi. The head, Kui, refers to the four stars of the dipper, and handle, Bing, to the last three stars of the dipper. In ancient times man would navigate according to the position of the stars at night. The stars guided one to one's destination. Internally this refers to the breaths of the firing process guiding one to one's internal destination, the presence of the original spirit. A star is after all, a sun, and represents fire, which symbolizes the illumination of conscious awareness. The three stars of the dipper handle relate to the firing times to create the pureness of three yangs, the trigram chin, heaven, 
which is an abbreviation of the hexagram Qian, heaven, and are represented in the first six ox herding pictures. The four stars of the head relate to four immortals' breaths and are represented in the last four ox herding pictures. This immortal fourfold breath is hidden in the original cavity of the spirit, behind the spot between the eyes. Zhao Pai Chen, 20th C. Taoist Master, heaven and earth are seen as father and mother, or husband and wife, while the other six trigrams are seen as sons and daughters. The trigrams heaven and earth also symbolize the true breath. Qian is firm and Kun is yielding, they are fitted to embrace each other, Dash Wei Boyong, 2nd C. Taoist Master, Kantong Chi Triplex Unity. There is a saying, as you breathe, so the firm and yielding rub against each other, so they form the very image of Qian and Kun, opening and closing. The method of inner development which produces a divine immortal uses man's ability to reflect back his brightness to light up within. His outbreath and inbreath merge together into a stage of supreme peace. Yuan, Commentary on the Kantong Chi When the celestial, Yang, is overcome by the mundane, Yin, reality is obscured. This is like heaven mixing with earth, the Yang in the middle of heaven enters the palace of earth, so that the trigram of earth is filled in and becomes water. When the mundane takes the position of the celestial, intellectual knowledge and emotions gradually develop. This is like earth mixing with heaven, the yin in the middle of earth goes into the palace of heaven, so the trigram of heaven is emptied and becomes fire. Yin and yang are no longer pure and the true breath is lost. To return to pure yin and yang energy one needs to reverse this process in oneself. When one reverses the process, the trigrams fire and water are then seen as the medicine and heaven and earth as the crucible and furnace. They are the method or the tools to return to pure yang. The gold crucible is something firm, strong, stable, this symbolizes single-minded concentration of will, by which one can bear the Tao. The jade furnace is something warm, flexible, even, peaceful, it symbolizes gradual progress of the work, by which one can persevere long and go far. The gold crucible is also called the crucible of heaven, the jade furnace is also called the furnace of earth. Luyi Ming, The Inner Teachings of Taoism The two hexagrams heaven and earth are taken for the crucible and furnace because the firmness of yang and the flexibility of yin are considered the substance. The two hexagrams water and fire are taken for the medicinal substances because the balance of firmness and flexibility is considered the function. Luyi Ming, The Inner Teachings of Taoism the crucible of heaven represents single-minded concentration of will to not allow the firing process to be interrupted, while the furnace of earth represents the progress of the firing times. Heaven and earth set the stage. Whilst change travels in their midst. Heaven and earth take as images. The creative and the receptive. Change is shown through water and fire. Water and fire are the functions of. The creative and the receptive. Altogether streaming through the six empty spaces. Wei Boyong, Kantong Chi. Spiritual alchemy must start with doing, restoring the primordial while in the midst of the temporal, recovering one's original jewel of life. At that point one embraces the fundamental and preserves unity, traveling the path of non-doing, thereby realizing the original essence of real emptiness. What can be done for all the quietest who only know non-doing and do not know doing? Lu Yi Ming, understanding reality the path of doing is called cultivating life. The path of non-doing is called cultivating essence, the real people of ancient times said that essence and life should both be cultivated, so the work requires two stages. One of the paths of spiritual alchemy is cultivating life, one is cultivating essence. The path of cultivating life is the path of doing, the path of cultivating essence is the path of non-doing. The path of doing is prolonging life by certain arts, the path of non-doing is making the being whole by the Tao. Lu Yi Ming, Understanding Reality Of the 64 hexagrams of the I Ching, the reason the creative and the receptive are the gate and door is to show people the path of firmness and flexibility, simplicity and readiness. The other 62 hexagrams show people the path of modification of simplicity and readiness. The 384 lines of the 64 hexagrams all teach people how to know when they are not simple and ready, 
and to modify this so that they may eventually become simple and ready. Modification to simplicity and readiness means that awareness and capability, to have self-awareness, are in their innate condition of innocence, and one is a superior person. If one does not change to simplicity and readiness, then awareness and capacity are faulty, and one is an inferior person. The difference between superior people and inferior people is simply a matter of whether or not they know how to make this change. Lu Yi Ming, Taoist I Ching, the path of superior people is eternal, the path of inferior people is miserable. Increase means augmenting insufficient celestial energy, to augment what is insufficient means adding from one yang until there are six yangs, so that finally positive celestial yang is pure and complete. Lu Yi Ming, the Taoist I Ching, Hexagram number 44 meeting. When the area where yin and yang meet are traced, a spiral shape forms, which creates the same shape as yin yang or taiji symbol. From number 7 to number 12 yin energy increases. When yang culminates, yin is inevitable, one yin surreptitiously arises, and the yang energy is damaged, Lu Yi Ming, the Taoist I Ching, hexagram number 44 meeting. There is a dark, hidden, secret, remote and slight, that separate they are yet joined together. Wei Boyong, Canton Chi, Triplex Unity. Taoist Master Shang Yang comments on this. In just these two lines is the most perfect and complete summary of what is meant here. Separate they are yet joined together meaning that the two objects Yin and Yang are 10,000 miles apart in their activity, but if they gain the old yellow woman to act as matchmaker, although far from each other, they come very close together. And then the two materials respond in due measure, bearing as a seed the primacy of yin and yang. Master Sheng Yang, The Secret of Everlasting Life, Commentary on the Kentong Chi. Now these twelve hexagrams are seen from a different perspective. The two groups of six hexagram, six hexagrams of advancing yang and six of advancing yin, if they gain the yellow woman, actually represent the inhalation and exhalation of the six yang breaths of the firing process. The quality of strong virtue in people is original innate knowing, the same primal energy. This is called true yang, or the truly unified vitality, or the truly unified energy. Confucianism speaks of singleness of mind, Taoism speaks of embracing the one, Buddhism speaks of returning to the one. Lu Yi Ming, the Taoist I Ching, hexagram number one, heaven. The way to return to pure yang is by turning one's attention inward. If one can sustain this without being distracted, the original self gradually returns. Being gentle but balanced, turning the gaze around to inward examination, the heart pure and the mind quiet, not concentrating on externals but carefully watching over one's inner state, controlling movement by stillness, preventing fragmentation by unity, not taking in external things, impervious to outside influences, is like a wife in the kitchen, remaining chaste, invariably gaining good fortune. This is refining the self and using the path of gentility. Lu Yi Ming, the Taoist I Ching, hexagram number 37 people in the home. Return is developmental, going out and coming in, there is no ill. When a companion comes, there is no fault. Reversing the path, returning in seven days, it is beneficial to have a place to go, return means coming back. In the body of the hexagram one yang moves below a group of yins, this is the return of yang energy. The way to do it involves working in an orderly fashion, in sequence, restoring it gradually, one cannot restore it immediately, or even if one does restore it immediately it cannot be stabilized. It is necessary to first refine oneself and master the mind, waiting for the time to act. Therefore, reversing the path, reality returns in seven days, this path is not difficult to know, but it is difficult to practice. From a single yang, until six yangs are pure and complete. When return to good is not stable, and you return again and again and lose it again and again, this is called repeated return. Yet if your nature is flexible and your will is firm, and you are single-mindedly intent on return, and you handle yourself in danger, if you can do it once you can do it a hundred times, and if you can do it a hundred times you can do it a thousand times. This is return in which one studies when at a loss and strives diligently to carry it out. Lu Yi Ming, the Taoist I Ching, hexagram number 24 return, 
The Sword of Wisdom The Sword of Wisdom is a symbol that is used in all esoteric traditions. It is a symbol for spiritual knowledge and effort, in particular the effort to be present in this moment. Let the wise man fight illusion with the Sword of Wisdom. Buddha Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. The Bible, the Gospel of Matthew, 1034. The Prophet said, Wisdom is my sword, Al Ghazali. The highest wisdom is the wisdom that awakens the original spirit. Wisdom is but self awareness, beyond all words and talk. Milarepa. 13th century Taoist master Li Dao Chun explains the meaning of the sword of wisdom in detail. Ever since sages handed on the secret of the sword, the true imperative has been upheld. Completely, truly adamant. When students of the Tao know this secret, the Yang spirit is intensely powerful. And the Yin demons vanish. If someone asks me about looking for its origin, I say it is not ordinary iron. This lump of iron comes from receptive stillness, square earth. When you obtain it, it rises up. Setting to work when one yang comes back. First have the six yangs pump the furnace bellows. Then the six yins work the tongs and hammer. When the work of firing is complete, it produces the sword. When it is first done, it flashes like lightning. This precious sword fundamentally has no form. The name is set up because it has spiritual effect. Learning the Tao and practicing reality. Depend on this sword. Without this sword, the Tao cannot be achieved. Alternative additional text from the Book of Balance and Harmony, by Li Dao Chun 13th C. Taoist Master. Ever since adepts handed on the secret of the sword, the true imperative has been upheld completely, truly adamant. When students of the Tao know this secret, the Yang spirit is intensely powerful, and the Yin demons vanish. The subtle function of spiritual work is truly hard to measure, I now give an explanation for you. In telling you about it, I divulge the celestial mechanism. Setting to work when one yin returns, first have the six yangs pump the furnace bellows, then the six yins work the tongs and hammer. When the work of firing is complete, it produces the sword. This precious sword fundamentally has no form, the name is set up because it has spiritual effect. Learning the Tao and practicing reality depend on this sword, without this sword, the Tao cannot be achieved. The essence of the poem is having the six yangs pump the furnace bellows and the six yins working the tongs and hammer. The furnace refers to the mind of Tao, which tries to awaken the original spirit. A furnace is a vessel in which fire is used, because the mind of Tao has a yang light which can be used to burn away a person's mundanity, yin energy. The mind of Tao is also represented as a furnace. Lu Yi Ming, The Inner Teaching of Taoism The furnace bellows refer to the inhalation and exhalation of the true breath. The physical breath is food for the physical body, the true breath is food for the spiritual body, the original spirit, which comes into being through the true breath. The six yangs and six yuns refer to the twelve sovereign hexagrams of the I Ching. The following verse about the six yang hexagrams is an extract of a poem from Triplex Unity, Cantong Chi, a 2nd century Taoist text. At the new moon's light lies return. The yang breath begins to spread through. At overseeing, the furnace issues strips of light, opening the way for proper radiance. Looking upward, it forms tranquility. The firm and the yielding both come to hold sway. Gradually comes the turn of great power. At parting the time has come for Yin to move into retreat. For Yang has risen and has come to the force. Heaven is strong, flourishing, and bright. And lays itself over the four neighborhoods. Wei Boyong, Canton Chi, Triplex Unity. The Yang breath begins to spread through, means that with each hexagram, Yang energy is gaining strength, with each of the six breaths. Self-awareness is getting stronger, until it is pure and bright with hexagram number one heaven. One who mounts the truth of heaven and earth writes the changes of the six breaths, and then roams amongst the boundless. Zhuang Zi, 4th C. B.C. Taoist Philosopher This path, Tao, is not difficult to know, 
but it is difficult to practice, when you know it, it is most important to practice it. Promptly setting about cultivating it, it will surely return gradually, from a single yang, until six yangs are pure and complete. What can compare to the growth and fruition of that return? Lu Yi Ming, the Taoist I Ching, hexagram number 24 return. The Kentong Qi, triplex unity, 2nd century Taoist text, sees the hexagrams number 1 the creative and number 2 earth as crucible and furnace and hexagrams number 29 mastering pitfalls and number 30 fire as the medicinal ingredients. Therefore the rest of the remaining 60 hexagrams stand for the firing times. Yu Yan, 13th C. Taoist Master, Commentary on Kantong Qi, 2nd C. Taoist Text. On the one hand the hexagrams speak about reaching pure yang by employing the firing process to burn away false yin. On the other hand, doing this requires the balance of yin, flexibility, and yang, firmness. The 64 hexagrams of the I Ching, with 384 lines, only elucidate the modes of yin and yang, and the representations of balance and imbalance. If you understand the meaning of balance and imbalance of yin and yang, you can harmonize yin and yang, spontaneously fitting in with the symbols of the hexagrams. Meaning instead of clinging to the symbols, they do not know that when the adepts have spoken of difficulty, hexagram number 3, in the morning and practicing darkness, hexagram number 4, at night, this is to teach people that the arising of yang is difficult and the falling of yang is darkness. Settled, hexagram number 63 and unsettled, hexagram number 64, teach people that when yin and yang are joined, that is being settled, and when yin and yang have not yet joined, that is being unsettled. The meanings concealed in these hexagrams are the meanings of these four hexagrams, considered in this light, the other sixty hexagrams are all permutations of yin and yang. Understanding the symbol, forget the words, the idea is clear of itself. If you understand the meaning of the hexagram symbols, the pivot of heaven is in your hand, the axis of earth depends on your mind. Wherever you go, everywhere is the Tao, there is no need to cling to the hexagram symbols, for you spontaneously accord with them. Lu Yi Ming, Commentary on Understanding Reality Those who have attained the superconscious level of awareness develop the true discrimination, the ability to transcend the illusion of life and discern the eternal which underlies all the changing forms. The result of true discrimination is viragya, non-attachment. Those who are established in non-attachment realize that everything of this universe is the manifestation of the Supreme. They cannot hate or neglect anything of this universe. The universe is changeable, while Supreme Consciousness is unchangeable, true and absolute. But non-attachment does not mean to leave all pleasures and remain in a state of indifference to the world. It does not mean to leave everything and go to the seclusion of a mountain cave. Those who are truly non-attached do not deny the world, worldly life, they embrace it, for they feel the touch of the eternal hidden within all the changing forms of their lives. They are with everything. They are Paramhamsa. The subtle causal mind is the last, fifth, gateway of perfection. It is the third stage of the superconscious mind. One who experiences this stage of mind reaches very near the infinite self within, and such a person's desire for supreme union becomes unbearable. Such a person has an intense desire for God. In this stage of mind there is a complete reflection of supreme consciousness. When the spiritual aspirant reaches this stage of mind, his or her mind becomes one with that subtle causal mind, and as a result his or her mind becomes one with the supreme, or cosmic, mind and becomes an all-knowing mind. Then the person becomes an all-knowing personality and attains complete spiritual awareness. The person experiences a divine current of the supreme happiness. He or she attains the fullest expression of humanity, divinity. This is the aim of life. One can reach this stage of mind through dhyana, meditation in which the psyche is directed towards consciousness. Beyond this fifth layer of mind, there is supreme consciousness, the supreme spirit, the absolute reality, where all logics and reasonings and conflicts of the lower mind are dissolved and everything becomes one. Be spiritually aware, be great by your sadhana by your service and by your sacrifice. Be as great as it, the supreme entity. It is everything. In this shloka the attributes of Purusa or the supreme consciousness have been explained. 
we know that in the process of creation the cosmic mind is created. This cosmic mind has its waves, its mental faculty, so, also, in the latter stages, when the unit mind is created, it has its mental flow. The cosmic mind is certainly infinite, and the entire creation is its kingdom. It is its sovereign ruler. For the unit mind, it is really impossible to challenge the authority of that supreme mind, because all unit minds are within its mental arena, within the periphery of that cosmic mind. In fact, the universe is the thought projection of the cosmic mind. Whatever the unit mind thinks or does, it is immediately known to it, because all the actional expressions are within the scope of that cosmic entity. Now, you have a brain with a small cranium, your mental capacity is therefore limited. The cosmic entity does not require a brain, because everything is internal for it. You think with your small brain, whereas it thinks with its infinite mind. You see with your two eyes, with the limited capacity of your optical nerves and optical fibers, but it sees with its infinite eyes, watching every activity at the same time. Because of this cosmic nature, its eyes are everywhere, whatever you can see, it sees, and whatever you cannot see, that also it sees. The pictures of others' minds are constantly passing through its mind. You have two small legs, and it takes some time for you to reach Calcutta from Patna. You cannot remain in Calcutta and in Patna at the same time. But, because of its cosmic nature, its legs are everywhere. To go to Calcutta from Patna, it need not leave Patna. That is, it is everywhere, it sees everything, it watches everything, it is everything. This quinquelemental universe is its object. It is the supreme subjectivity, and everything else is objectivity. Man mind controls the quinquelemental expression of the lower koses by the higher koses, and all the koses are controlled by the Sahasrara chakra. That means that the Sahasrara chakra is above everything in this quinquelemental universe. The Sahasrara chakra is the seat of the supreme entity and therefore the Sahasrara Chakra is the final controlling point. The Cosmic Purusa knows the past and the future. Here it has been said that he she knows the past and the future. Nothing has been said about the present. What is the present? A certain portion of the past and a certain portion of the future that you can remember very easily, grasp very easily, is known as the present time. If there is a conversation between two persons, whenever one says something, the other person hears after a few seconds, because air takes some time to carry sound waves, and the other man hears it. It is past for the speaker and future for the present time. The cosmic entity knows the past and future of Sarva. Sa is the acoustic root of the sentient principle, Ra represent energy, and Va means characteristic. Everything is born out of the sentient principle, and everything is controlled by energy, and everything has its characteristic. So, Everything is therefore controlled by Sarva, and Sarva means everything. The cosmic Purusa knows everything. According to Ananda Marga philosophy, there is no question of heaven and hell. So you must not encourage helplessness. It is present in hell and heaven. So you are never alone. You must never encourage the psychology of helplessness. Parama Purusa is always with you. That supreme entity is in love with you and therefore you must not suffer from any kind of inferiority complex. Make it the goal of your life and become an emancipated being. Shri Shri Ananda Murtiji, human life in the world has a mission, which alone is important, with this direction there is life, without it there is death. If one cannot find happiness in this mission, this direction, this order, everything else is empty and false. That to which heaven directs humanity is only good, if one can find happiness in that command, then this is obeying heaven. Having the direction of heaven is the greatest of possessions. Lu Yi Ming, the Taoist I Ching, hexagram number 14 Great Possession.